So does sustainability add cost? I think it can do. Does it always? No. And are you creating value? Yes. And it's most fundamental forms if you're thinking about resource efficiency and trying to use less and create less waste. Well, in that instance, you know, one's hopefully reducing costs as well. So, you know, creating less waste, throwing less away, um, saving money. So I think in the world of sustainability, you know, you might look to address low hanging fruit first. And those might be things that actually save you money. Um, and reduce your resource use and reduce your waste. I think as we move to create more shift and actually change the way we do things and create a more sustainable economy or an economy focused more on sustainability and sustainable outcomes, I think that's where there's opportunities for generating broader value. And that might be around um, employment, green jobs. We've heard that talked about before, creating new sectors, new supply chains that actually support us decarbonising our economy and, and contribute to regional growth. I think those of us aspiring to a more sustainable future, a more sustainable way of living and a more sustainable economy um, would love to see more cross-sector working, more collaboration to ensure better outcomes. And I think through that collaboration you can find either efficiencies cross-sector or you can provide um, or identify other opportunities to actually generate economic value through doing things differently and putting a different lens um, on how we move forward. Building on the things that we're good at and the things that we're good at that create better outcomes. You know, we've got a significant forestry sector in New Zealand, we know that timber is a lower carbon material than some others in a number of different instances, whether that's construction infrastructure or, or whatever. And so, OK, what could we be doing to add value to those sectors to create more products, higher value products in New Zealand that actually contribute to us as a country reducing our carbon footprint and doing things more sustainably while supporting the regions, supporting with regional economic growth? employment, etc. I'd love to be shouting from the rooftops about what we could do for using more engineered timber. Anecdotally, we've seen, you know, vertical build or um, timber projects sourcing engineered timber from Europe because they can't get that cost competitively or they can't be certain of capacity of actual supply um, within Australasia. And so to me, that seems like a huge opportunity for our wood processing sector here to actually, you know, create the both capacity and capability and look at cost efficiencies um, so that we're using local products locally. We know we want to um, transition towards a more renewable energy system. What does it mean? What does it look like to be constructing more wind turbines? What does it look like to have more solar panels? What batteries are needed? Where do we source the metals for those batteries, for those wind farms and other things? Is there better environmental, better economic outcomes if we're sourcing those metals locally? 